Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm playing in this gorgeous lace wig. She came courtesy of Hair in Beauty. Everything is linked in the description bar as far as the details and all of that. I got it right this time. I went ahead and added my heat protectant spray at the very beginning, something I always forget to do. Now it may look like I OD'd and put a lot, but this stuff definitely absorbed into the hair by the time you're ready to style. In the end, I ended up going with a natural, loose, like wet texture to show off the body wave and kind of showing you how to pretty much make body wave look really good. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be a heatless hairstyle as far as the ends go. But we will be putting a little bit of heat at the root because you guys know that is my jam. Right now, I'm just cutting off any excess lace before I start this part, the process of customizing the wig. I went ahead and cut off all the excess lace around my eyebrows so that I do not ruin my eyebrows by rubbing that lace against them and have to redraw them on. I also cut all of the excess lace around the ears so that the wig fits like a glove. So here you can see how far the parting goes back. I'm definitely, I love a wig that has six inches of parting. This one definitely does not have that. The um, website does offer this one as I believe a four by four. I'm not sure if it's really 4x4 four four going backwards, but it is 4x4 four four going side to side. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of wax around the hairline. This kind of reveals the hairline to me and makes me be able to see everything. Um, and it just makes it easier for me to customize. I'm not sure why, but definitely I've just gotten used to doing so. You can add a little bit of water if you don't want to add product. Here I am with the tweezers. I went in probably for a good like 10 possibly 15 minutes and just went in two layers behind the hairline and front of the hairline really just tweezing it out and customizing it to make it look a tad more natural so here I went ahead and just pretty much parted behind what would be baby hair and I tweezed as good as I could um, until I was satisfied now I'm gonna go back one more time so pretend this is like another row of baby hair so to speak and just go back more and this is how you get a gradient effect by just kind of like parting out a very thin section of hair and going behind that and tweezing and doing it you know if you feel like you need a little bit more you part out another like thin row of hair pull it forward and then part behind or tweeze behind that and if you still feel like it's a little bit dense you can go back one more time normally I go back just once and if I feel like I really need to customize I'll go back twice and then you guys can see when I brush it backwards it still looks closed off a little bit in the front so I went ahead and used the flat iron to kind of just make sure I wasn't you know my eyes weren't playing tricks on me and I kind of decided okay yeah I think I'm gonna um, customize the very front a little bit more as well and this worked out for me the only thing is I only did the center like from maybe like um, the arch of my eyebrow to the arch of the other eyebrow so I didn't do the sides because I was planning on doing a center part with some nice wand curls was my plan before but if you're going to be exposing the entire hairline be sure to do this process all the way from ear to ear I definitely will have to go back and make the rest of the hair catch up but in that little section from ear to uh, or from brow to brow, I definitely tweezed out a lot. That is a lot of hair. Next step is going to be to go ahead and bond the wig down. Off camera, I did cut off the lace, but you guys see me do that all the time. I didn't do any special techniques as far as like zigzag or anything. I literally just cut it straight across. And this is pretty much the result. If you're having trouble with bonding your wig down, wigs down, especially with the Got To Be Glued spray, I highly recommend that after you go ahead and add that spray and lay it down as I have, go in and either you take a blow dryer on a cool setting and just go over it until it's completely dry and or go ahead and add a scarf and just give that a moment to like bond down and completely dry. Also, um, usually after this you'll go ahead and do the baby hair and normally I would use um, a, what do you call it? What do you call it? I'm planked out. Pregnancy brain! I will go in and add a foam lotion to make my baby hair because that's my favorite. But if you find that whenever you use a foam lotion on top of a wig that you've bonded down and it makes the wig come up, don't use foam or anything of a water-based um, like product use either a um, actual edge control that's more of a like wax bakes or something like that that's not going to be like wet and lift your lace or um, 
yeah I'm not sure what else you can do except like to bond it down um, maybe even using a wax stick will work because like I said um, like a wax base or an edge control that kind of has like a gel or wax base will work better because it just won't wet that lace and lift it back up hopefully that makes sense but I am going to be using foam lotion because you guys know that is my jam and I am doing the normal which it's pretty much normal for me which is I pretty much like above the temple or not the temple but like the arch of my eyebrow is where I like to make my baby hair so I'll do one above each side and I kind of feel like sometimes this look, looks a little bit more natural and not so overdone opposed to doing baby hair like all the way around from ear to ear but you know guys I switch it up so sometimes I'll do it from ear to ear as well because I like both and then from there I just take the foam lotion on a baby hair brush and I just swoop and this looks the best to me again I did customize the center but I did not customize the sides so go ahead and do better than me and customize your sides as well again I had my heart set on the look and I was going to do a center part so I just decided that um, I didn't need to do that for the sake of this video because it wasn't going to be exposed with the style but ultimately I am going to do a side part so it is a little bit exposed but it still is going to look good and you'll see that in just a moment So as you guys can see, I did kind of a curved side part. I didn't want to do a deep side part because again, the tracks, um, you know, they come really close because this is a 4x4. And then I really wanted to kind of do a curved parting opposed to just a straight side part. Kind of to elongate the parting and make it appear like a longer or deeper parting than what it is and now I'm just taking my wand curler and yes I did burn my forehead right there and yes there is a huge scar on my forehead right before it's time to go and deliver my daughter because I am due any day now unfortunately I'll have this big burn mark but hopefully I'll be able to cover it with the lace and baby hair anyways I'm just using that wand curler to go ahead and style the top I kind of like to do that little flip over situation in the front kind of love the personality that gives and just laying everything down feel free to add a mousse or some kind of product if you need to I believe I did add a little bit of a wax stick stick all the way around and now I'm going to style the ends I feel like the ends look great as is so if you kind of just want to add a little bit of water you will be able to and you'll be good to go but because this is a body wave texture I was definitely nervous about like going in and wand curling the hair and expecting it to revert back just because normally body wave hair once you straighten it it's hard to get this texture back because it is such a slight subtle wave and not like a deeper wave so the obvious thing is if you kind of know that you want to straighten the hair but you kind of want to have a slight wave or a little bit of texture this is where body wave comes in if you know you want it to be pretty much um you know a little bit more deep than this or more defined than this but not necessarily curly that's when deep wave comes in and I've been finding lately that deep wave has actually been my favorite texture and while I'm running my mouth I went ahead and just did the opposite side and I just added um, a good amount of foam lotion and then I went ahead and wet it at the end now normally you will wet it and get it damp first and then add your product this is going to help you to use much less product I don't know I just did it backwards because I didn't really want to wet the hair because I don't like wet hair but it worked out in the end you can kind of wet it as much as you want. I kind of got it slightly damp, but if you soak it, it'll be easier to kind of scrunch it for a more, like a deeper effect, if that makes any sense. That's it. I'm just going to add a little bit of powder to the parting and kind of just, you know, primp and finesse it as much as I can. You guys know the drill.
Not sure if you girls notice how powdery it looks after you add powder to the parting and the lace. But sometimes it does have that powdery effect. Normally I'll go ahead and add my scarf at this point and it'll kind of just melt in and blend naturally. But if I'm going somewhere at that moment, I kind of will go over it either with like a serum, a holding spray, or even the got to be glued spray. Just to kind of seal things, make everything lay down, and then also to kind of wet the, I guess you would say, powder and kind of make it blend. Kind of like when you do your makeup and you like set it with the setting spray at the end to just make it all melt and blend in. That's pretty much what I do lately and I find that that makes a huge difference. Again, you don't have to use got to be glued spray. You can use like your serum or just something on top that'll help to melt it and not have it look like powder sitting on top. But other than less, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the description bar for links to this wig as well as links to everything I used. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Smooches!